There are lots of kinds of trucks built by different manufacturers for different situations. Germany's premium brand Mercedes-Benz has been making a broad palette of commercial vehicles for decades. Most of the vehicles are two-wheel drive, which is sufficient for most needs, but not for all-terrain. That's why Mercedes-Benz offers customers the option of four-wheel drive for each of their models, from the Sprinter to the Viano. Johann Rempler is an engineer for vehicle dynamics. He says there are some situations where two-wheel drive is inadequate. One example of why the automaker builds all-wheel drive models is so that the trucks can be used on construction sites or slippery roads. Depending on the model, all-wheel drive is offered in different forms. On the Sprinter, it can be manually activated. The extra traction can be had for about 13,000 euros for vehicles sold in Germany. The optional reduction gear setting can be had for another 600 euros. So it's not just a snazzy feature that comes cheap. Customers invest in the option if they plan to use the truck in rough terrain, like quarries. After all, drivers don't want to have to get towed out. Other models, like the Viano, can be ordered with permanent all-wheel drive. Our engineer Johann Rempler says there are about six different ways of getting engine power to all of the wheels. He says there's the standard real wheel drive or front wheel drive that can be shifted into all wheel drive mode. Then there's viscous coupling, multi plate clutch locking, automatic coupling that responds to oil pressure and activates the inter axle and inter wheel differential locks. There's also dry coupling and then the torsion differential. So those are the six forms that exist for all-wheel drive. Rempler says Mercedes favors permanent all-wheel drive. That way all four wheels transfer power simultaneously. They provide more lateral support for better handling. That makes the vehicle more drivable and safer. Safety has the highest priority controllable driving, and the engineer says that's the most important thing in Mercedes. Now we went to see whether the Viano lives up to the manufacturer's promise on the test track. On a wet surface, the vehicle sticks to its tracks and stays under control at all times. So here, the all-wheel drive is a definite safety advantage. Our engineer explains that the engine's power is distributed by a power divider and a differential, and that's the important part. Mercedes has three open differentials in its system. There's rear wheel drive with the rear axle's open differential, front wheel drive, and then the formatic system which gives power to all four wheels. In some situations, like driving in rugged terrain, drivers need differential locks to prevent wheel spin due to varying traction. Mercedes doesn't use mechanical locks. Instead, it relies on electronics to respond to the problem. Uh, once again, our engineer explains that the advantages of three open differentials is that the traction control system for ETS can activate three differential locks. You can activate the inter-axle lock by building up pressure on both sides of the rear axle and thereby transfer traction to the front axle, or the other way around. And then there's the inter-wheel differential lock by activating a pressure buildup on each axle. Mercedes-Benz offers all-wheel drive on all of its commercial vehicles with a total weight capacity of 7.5 tons. The Sprinter with a maximum vehicle weight of 5 tons can carry a load of up to 3,000 kilograms.
anyone who plans to transport a heavier load needs to turn to Mercedes' Vario model, which also has optional permanent all-wheel drive. But the traction control comes at a price. It costs just under 20,000 euros for vehicles sold in Germany. All-wheel drive is a useful safety feature for heavy-use vehicles. But with such a hefty price tag, buyers will want to carefully consider whether they really need it.